Hey guys, good morning and happy Saturday. Welcome back to the vlog. If you cannot tell by the smile on my face, it is peak week number one. <laughs> so let's not forget as I've been mentioning that I have a few shows planned. It is peak week number one and I am up bright and early on a Saturday to go do some fasted cardio because I got a pretty busy day ahead um, because it's peak week for me but you know competition season is nice and active in my area so I'm gonna go to Ohio which is just a couple hours away so I'm going to Ohio to watch the North Coast Championships because I have a friend that is competing I haven't seen her since well, we first met when we were competing at Elite Physique, which was my first show, and I think it was also her first show. And so we just had like a lot of nerves, didn't really get to talk, but we were just like, whoa, she's really pretty. Whoa, she's really, you know? You know, just had like admiration for each other and just have been following each other on Instagram. So I just wanted to go out and show some support for her because next weekend she's gonna be at my show because one of her teammates is gonna be in it. Um, so that's pretty cool. She's a wellness athlete, but I'm going to be going a little bit earlier to go and watch the bikini part of the show as well, just because I love this sport. I want to see, I don't know, I just love the sport as a spectator. I love it as an athlete. I love it as a coach. And I think that, um, well, I... I'm hoping that it won't make me more anxious, like, oh my God, looking at the competitions, da, da, da. I'm hoping that, like, I'm hoping that by going and watching the bikini section that it's gonna motivate me even more. Not that I need any more motivation. Like, y'all, I am focused. I am grinding. And I have been dealing with some shit. All right, so. So before I go do my fasted cardio, I wanted to update you guys on just what my program's gonna be looking like for this peak week. I'm gonna be checking in every day, except for today because I'm super busy and I need to get my cardio in and I need to cook and I need to drive to a whole other state. So I'm not placing other demands on myself, but um, I'm going to be checking in every day. I also, I also just got my Angel Competition bikini and my Pro Tan, so I'm gonna open that stuff up when I get back from Ohio, make sure everything looks okay. Luther, what are you doing that is making so much noise? Ugh, all right, where was I before I was interrupted by my rude ass cat? Like, Luther being a badass, like taking off his collar. I need that to know where you are and so that when you get lost, other people know where you are. So sorry, you don't like it. We all do things we don't like. So I'm prepping my shredded chicken right now for the slow cooker, and I normally, you know, I add my sauces, my salts, all that good stuff, but this time around, um, it's peak week, and I don't want any added or extra sodium, so I'm just gonna be adding a little bit of water just enough so that it doesn't stick to the bottom. And then I'm also going to add in some tomato paste. What I love is that tomato paste is a lot of flavor without a lot of sodium. It's already processed a bit in the way that they cook it, but it's clean. I'm gonna add this and some garlic powder, onion powder, all that kind of stuff to make sort of like a tomato-y shredded chicken. Just add a little spice to it, a little flavor because it's what I'm gonna be eating as my protein all week so show you guys what that looks like right now that's just chicken breast I'm gonna add a little more water yeah like not a lot just so that there's like it's not sticking and then I'm gonna mix this in with some spices my bay leaf garlic powder no salt seasoning blend black powder and onion powder and tomato paste and I'm hoping that you know Combining all of these things will make this flavorful. All right, this is what it looks like all mixed up. Then I just put it on high, cover it up. I'm gonna let that go for mm, two or three hours <laughs> and we'll check back on that. All right, time to get these greens together so I can go to the gym. Hey 
guys, so I am at the gym right now. Just finished my first hour of fasted cardio. And the water retention this week has been crazy and I'm just, part of me is really annoyed that it's happening right now. And then part of me is really grateful that it's not happening a few days from now, you know? Um, so just within this past week, my weight has been fluctuating within a range of about eight pounds. Like I know normally people gain like, oh, a couple pounds on their period or a couple pounds when they're stressed. But me, when I get inflamed, I get inflamed. And I've always had water retention issues. Um, like I'm pretty sure I've done multiple vlogs on how to deal with water retention issues. So I already know what I have to do. I did my fasted cardio. I'm drinking my greens. I'm making sure that I'm drinking lots of water. And Normally, I would just do that and stick to the plan, but we are so close to show that I need to sweat off this water. So I'm doing a lot more cardio, but I'm doing lower intensity cardio. So it's not as, so I'm not getting my heart rate as high, but I am doing more of it. Just enough to get me to sweat a bit and get rid of all this water weight that I'm holding because my legs, guys, my legs look like I didn't do anything all month. Everybody's body is different. Everybody puts on water weight different. For me, um, I feel like I feel really like my my stomach feels really expanded. So I always wear my waist trainer like all day. If I'm bloated, I wear it all day because if I don't, I feel like like a balloon and it's not like my skin is loose. It's just tight and uncomfortable and I don't feel hungry and my digestion is off and for some reason putting the waist trainer on just like gets everything back in check. So I got that on. I've already had a ton of water. I'm drinking my dandelion root tea, which is supposed to help with water retention. I'm making sure that I'm cutting most of the little sweeteners and whatever. So I'm not having any energy drinks. Um, I'm trying to keep the, you know, cute little snacks to a minimum. So I'm eating more just like clean, whole foods. So veggies, low calorie fruits protein i'm cooking that shredded chicken right now that's going to be my protein for the week and then my carbs are really low um if if i do get to have anything outside of my carbs that are veggies and like the water retaining fruits like i've been eating a lot of watermelon and watermelon has been really helping me just get rid of the water weight and also fill me up because it's water it's fiber it's sweet but it's not like super super sweet so yeah, watermelon, waist training, water, dandelion root tea. What else have I been doing? Cardio, out there doing cardio. I wear my hoodie. I wear, I make sure I'm not wearing shorts. Like I'm all the way covered. So yeah, um, but I'm rambling. I'm just gonna get in a really quick glute workout. I'm not gonna vlog it because I'm in a rush and trying to set up the camera for every exercise makes me take twice as long. So yeah. I'm gonna get this workout in and by the time that I get home, my chicken should be ready. So I'm just gonna shower, pack my food, and then we'll be ready to go. Hey guys, so I am back from the gym. I actually did my cardio and my glutes. So I am done working out for the day. I don't know why, I just like had the energy to keep going after cardio and it was like, why not? I know there's all the science behind like meal timing and when to eat your carbs and blah, 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 but it's like, I'm ready now and I have a busy day and getting this workout in now guarantees that I'm gonna do it. Whereas if I wait till after this road trip, after eating the snacks, after da da da, one, I'm gonna be stressed the entire time because my workout's not done. And two, it, it's just not necessary. I had the energy, I did it. And now, now I have all my calories for the rest of the day, which means I can just get into the car, do all that. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys all my meals today, but I did go grocery shopping and I got my veggies. So my veggies for this peak week are gonna be spinach, sweet butter, just like lettuce for salad. So I got my spinach, got my lettuce, and the steamable green beans. Frozen veggies, guys. You throw it in the microwave and you're done. So I do that. And then I got a whole bunch of pistachios single serving pistachios because I'm busy and they're easy to pack. And I know that each one of these is 120 calories. I know it because they told me, so yeah. So 
So I just like portioned out things. And then I bought these, these protein bars specifically. These ones from Aldi I like because they don't have any of the fake sugars. You know, like the erythol, erythol or stevia or any of that. It's just like good fiber, real chocolate, real protein, and the calories are pretty low. Let me see. So yeah, you see how there's no like, you know, fake sugar that suddenly magically disappears because I realize that those fake sugars and all that stuff bloats the F out of me. Like it's cool to have like some in my BCAAs or some in whatever, but like my body treats fake sugar like sodium I'm realizing. And so I've been bloating up because of all this like fake shit I've been eating. So yeah, we got our veggies, we got our veggies. And then the protein is in here. I'm about to check on it and then we'll go shower. All right. Ooh, what? But yeah, here it is. Slow cooker chicken, just some water, some tomato paste, spices. As you can see, guys, like I have a spoon and it's falling apart. So I'm just gonna shred this and let it soak up all the water and the juices. Like, you see this, guys? You see how tender it is? I can break it up with a spoon. So, yeah, I'm going to just shred this and let it soak that all up. And this is going to be my protein for probably the week because I put, like, five or six pounds of chicken breast in here. All right. Hey, guys, and happy Tuesday. Welcome back to the vlog. We are now four days out from the show, and I have all these packages that have just been sitting here and they're like show day essentials like my suit my tan some more supplements um oh and my jewelry and i've just been so busy all week that i haven't had time to open it so i thought that while i sit here and sip on my last little energy drink that i would open up my packages and open up my suit so i got my suit as always i got it from angel competition bikinis Last year, I did one of their Ships Tomorrow suits just because it was like maybe five weeks out and I didn't know what I wanted. I didn't want to spend a lot of money, all that. But then this time, this time I did, um, I did a consultation and I did a consultation and during the consultation, we actually like hand picked what stones were going to be on here, hand designed everything like this suit is custom like the stone mix that i used on this has never been used before guys like i wanted special so let's see what we got Ooh, guys there's so much more stuff in here than i thought so i'm a brand ambassador for angel competition bikinis i'm gonna put my code here it's in chem my code for everything is in chem because i'm unique anyway so my code is in chem and there's like so much stuff like all i ordered was a suit this is the suit but then there's all these things so we're gonna open these first so this is guys they got me an ambassador robe oh i can't wait to wear this on show day and Ooh, you all see these stones. I was just thinking I ha I was just thinking that I have to buy um buy a new robe because I didn't have I didn't have any I just had like a plain black one. But Ooh, almost got a lip gloss on it. Nope, I got a lip gloss on it. Alright, let me put that down. Then of course the socks. I have like a few pairs of these and I love these and then yes y'all I love a good fanny pack I'm so happy about this and honestly I like that I have multiple of these because I think I'm going to start using them to organize my like show jewelry and stuff like that um and here's the little notes uh, I love the notes i love this company i love that they're women owned i love that i got to plan my suit with another competitor all right look at this hi in chem thanks for being a part of the acb family you're a rock star thank you guys all right time for the peace de resistance Ah, 
guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you see? Do you see? Guys, I wanted like blue, but purple, but like same aqua base that I did with my last suit. But I just wanted more pop, more color, more, you know, just a little, just a little, mm, just a little. Mm. And I got the molded cups this time. I did. Last time my suit was, I did the small top because I got small, you know, but this time I did the molded cup, you know, a medium with a short connector. So it could be kind of like a push up. We gonna see how it works, but guys, look at the stones. I did a pro cut again, cause my glutes ain't there yet for the micro scoop, but here are the bottoms. Nice, simple connector. All right, and oh my goodness, the quality, the, guys, I cannot wait to see this on stage and like to see the little purple shine. It looks so much better than I thought it would. And I thought it looked amazing already, but like I, seeing it in person is just different. All right. Let me put this beautiful princess away and open up my other stuff because I got my tan for the whole season and my jewelry and I think some more supplements because I always need like I use protein every day. I use my whey every day, especially now when I'm on soup. I use my protein every day. I use my whey every day, especially when I'm on low carbs. So let's see what I got. All right. This season, I wanted to order my jewelry from a different company. I wanted to order from a black-owned company because, guys, I'm trying to be more black with my dollar. And also, um, yeah, I just like them. And they're, they're closer. I ordered from All That Glitters Gems because they had way more options just for jewelry. And <laughs> y'all hear that? I'm in a rush to get to the gym, so I'm not going to wait for that loud-ass sound to stop. I'm just going to keep unpacking my stuff. And, ooh, guys, here's the box. And they also, <laughs> yes, they also sent me one of those little, um, like, travel pee cups for after you're in your tan. And here's the box. All that glitters gems. And everything is nice and individually wrapped, so I'm going to unwrap it and show you guys what those are um and they also gave me a note <gasps> cute yes and cam don't stop when you're tired stop when you're proud i'm keeping this mm, i am keeping that all right so this time i wanted to go with like a a b like um like a multicolor kind of stone Basically, like when the light hits it, it's like multicolored. So here's the first bracelet I got. Right? Already loving the options. Then here's the second one. Like you see what I mean? Like, I don't know what to call it. It's like the chrome AB stone. I don't know. But I wanted something that had the same sort of purples and blues and stuff that my suit has. Because, y'all, I have a whole vibe, okay? All right, what's this? What's this? These are the earrings. I don't remember the names of everything, guys, but go on their website. Everything is fire. But yeah, these are the earrings. Do you see what I mean? Do you see what I mean? Are you are you catching the vibe? Are you catching the vibe? All right, and then I don't know what this stuff is. I think I got some rings. I never have done like rings before, but I mean, what I love about competition jewelry is that it's stretchy. So, you know, it fits me, whatever size, you know. And another thing I love about competition jewelry, I wear it year round. Like, if I need some fly shit, y'all, tell me I don't look rich. Tell me I don't look rich. <laughs> All right, and y'all, let me... This is the ring. This is the ring I was really excited for. This one, do you see the colors? And also it just feels so like me, like my personality, you know, like just, 
So there's that. And I think I have one more like real simple band just in case, but yeah. Last season I had a couple bracelets and some earrings, but this time around I was like, no. We are going for luxury. We are going for grace, elegance, color. And now that I've opened all this stuff up, I can start to plan the makeup looks because I like see the colors in front of me. I see that there's lots of purples and pinks when the light hits it. And um, there's also lots of purples and pinks in my suit. I don't know what I'm gonna do for my stage makeup, but I'm getting excited just by looking at my jewels, <laughs> my jewels. All right, let me hurry up and open up the rest of my stuff because I have to go to the gym. By the way, I always do the DIY Pro Tan. I do the DIY Pro Tan every show. I do it by myself, you know, night before and day of show. And I love it because I can control the amount of time. I can control my schedule. I don't have to be running back and forth because I'm not trying to get rained on. I'm not trying to sweat. I'm not trying to... Mm -mm. I do everything on my own if you haven't realized. I do my makeup, I do my tan, I do my hair. Not that I do much, but yeah. So, I ordered the D-I-D-I-Y. All right, and then I ordered like a bunch of extra stuff. What, what's in here, what's in, what's in here, what's in here, what I got, what I got, what I got. All right, so I got the travel size, which I'm going to use first and make sure that I use up. And then I have an extra full size of the overnight and the top coat. So whenever I need to use that. Another option is I might just save this for whenever I do need to fly, like just put it aside and save that. I got a bunch of these because these little, um, the pads that you use to apply the tan because I don't like having to wash them. Like between every application, I just want to do my base coat and my top coat and worry about washing it when I get home so I did that I already had one of these back things but I couldn't find it and again I don't want to have to wash it so one for the base coat one for top coat and then guys um what else do I get I got some bikini bite help that suit stick on and not budge um, I didn't get any show shine because I already have so much from last time. Um, then I have the Get Buffed. This is the skin exfoliator. You're supposed to like exfoliate and like it's supposed to exfoliate and balance your skin right before you do the right before you do the base coat tan. And y'all, this is honestly the best smelling, most effective exfoliator I've ever used because it like the granules in it are so small and it smells kind of like melony and it just yeah it's my favorite so I order it year-round especially in the winter especially in the winter guys exfoliate your skin and then last but not least tan remover guys guys I see people walking around with a show day tan for like a whole week this stuff works I go I don't I don't go through it that quickly but I got like three shows and I'm not playing around like you put you just put it on your skin you let it sit for like a couple minutes and you shower off and your tan just whoosh, it's gone stop scrubbing your skin and like rubbing it raw especially if you have back to back to back shows get the tan remover get the tan remover and I got all this stuff 20% off by using Lauren Dana Miller's code. I will also I will include her code here because y'all deserve 20% off too. All this stuff, all this stuff for the whole season cost me as much as not even one tan at a show. Like if you book a tan at a show, you're gonna be paying like two hundred dollars. You gotta pay extra for them to do the stuff backstage. Da, 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 da. Nah. This less than two hundred dollars and you're good for the season and this is me like multiple shows like i'm not restocking till winter pro debut i don't know but i'm good on that and now i'm gonna open my supplements mm -mm -mm. all right my better rebuild is just a restock of the things i ran out of all i ran out of was protein because i if you guys have seen my Instagram and also this YouTube, I use their protein in everything. Um, ooh, 
They got new bags. I like these. So here's the vanilla and the chocolates. I love these. They mix really well. Um, eventually, I am going to try the cookies and cream. One, it's, one, it's really hard to get a hold of because it's a really popular flavor. Like, it sounds good. It sounds good. And two, vanilla and chocolate just work better with my recipes. Like, I like to do a whole bunch of different stuff. You know, sometimes I want to make chocolate pancakes. Sometimes I want to make, you know, um, smoothies and shakes and all this stuff. And chocolate and vanilla, man. Honestly, vanilla is my favorite flavor. It just is. <laughs> I use it in my milk for my cereal and it just tastes like, it tastes like your childhood. It tastes like you put like a sugar in your milk. Why would you not want that? All right. Well, that is, that is everything. All right. So yeah, I'm going to clean all this stuff up and get to the gym before they close. All right. So I'm going to clean all this stuff up and I will see you guys tomorrow for my check-in in my new suit. Oh, guys, I'm so excited to see how it looks and how it fits. I just don't have time right now. I don't, I never have time. <laughs> but yeah. So, hi, guys, and happy Thursday. We are two days out. If you can't tell, I practiced my stage makeup. I did my nails. I got hella rice cakes and stuff because we are two days out. I also really love this wall. I don't know why. So yeah, I just got my nails done. My, I did my hair last night. Got my rice cakes, peanut butter, and my protein for like the next couple days is gonna be shredded chicken. So yeah, my protein for the next couple days is gonna be shredded chicken. Um, the weight is coming down nicely. So, oh, it got dark. <sighs> I'm probably gonna sweat all this makeup off by the end of this session. I decided to do my cardio as legs, kind of, because the stair stepper works my legs really well, also gets my heart rate up, and it'll help me get rid of this last bit of water weight, obviously. And then tomorrow, because I'm increasing my carbs more, then I can do a little bit more of like a pump with bands and stuff like that Ooh. and upper body but I was just looking at myself today I was like I don't need it today what I need is more cardio and I love that I love that as my coach as my coach I can look at myself midday and be like you know what my legs need to tone up a bit more before I pump them with any carbs Hey guys, so I'm in the car all done with cardio and I am starving. But before I go and eat, I wanted to make sure that I wrapped up this peak week vlog because you guys, tomorrow is athlete check-in. Like it's getting real. I am two days out from the MPC Mid-Atlantic where I will be debuting my new suit, a better package. Everything's going to look different, y'all. Everything. Thank you for riding with me. Thank you for rocking with me through COVID, through, you know, weight fluctuations, water retention issues. Like, literally, guys, I'm about to buy a sauna for my house because I'm over it. I'm over it. But, till next time. Good